Hey guys. J No Zero, how you doing? I hope all is well in YouTube land. <laughs> Whatever part of the world that you are in. I figured we'd sit down and have a quick little coffee chat and hang out for a minute. Mm. Holy crap, man, it's good coffee. Uh, Mid-morning coffee break here. I had a uh, follow-up appointment with uh, my doctor. Uh, first off, the fingers are healing very well. Uh, I can still count to 10, so <laughs> that's a good thing. Thank you very much for all the uh, well wishes and the prayers. They truly do help, and I truly do appreciate it. Um, I follow up a doctor's appointment uh, with my blood pressure and overall health in general. Um, my doctor says that uh, other than being a big fat guy that smokes, I'm in great health. Uh, my heart is healthy. My lungs, uh, my lungs are healthy, but they're full of crap because I smoke, and I am going to make another uh, serious attempt to get out my e-cigarette and uh, start vaping and try to quit smoking again. Uh, I had done that about a year ago. I managed to quit for a couple of months, and I fell off the wagon. Quitting smoking is uh, extremely hard for me. Uh, it's just been really hard. So, but all my internals are good. My blood pressure is now back to normal. The uh, prescription that she gave me is working well, and uh, I feel much better. And I'm uh, starting to get a little more active again, which is a good thing because we're getting into the time of year where I need to be active and uh, make sure we got, you know, get everybody fed and warm and all that kind of stuff through the winter time. Uh, I, am, I am a little bit overweight, but all my cholesterol is good. My good cholesterol is good, my bad cholesterol is good. Uh, my, my blood sugar is, uh, is, in, is in a good range. It's, uh, it's be I, I told her, um, well actually she told me, she asked me what kind of diet I had and I told her that we produce a lot of our own stuff. Uh, we raise a lot of our own meat, we produce a lot of our own food, and we gather a lot of food from the hills and stuff. And she says that that's probably why I'm still in good health, even though I'm overweight. It's not because uh, of anything other than the diet that we eat. Uh, we eat a lot of fresh you know, vegetables and a lot of fresh stuff that we produce ourselves that isn't uh, mass-produced or full of preservatives and chemicals that we can't pronounce. So... Uh, just another reason to try to, uh, you know, produce as much as you can uh, for ourselves, just so because it's a much healthier type of diet. And, you know, I know I eat a lot of breads and biscuits and, uh, and stuff like that. That's, uh, you know, that's why I, uh, I have my belly with me. But I have already lost about 15 pounds just here in the last uh, month from my blood pressure going down and being a little more active and feeling better. So, man, alive. You ever had that feeling like you're being watched? Chickies, what are you doing? They're scratching. We just uh, mowed the yard, uh, mowed part of the yard anyway, with uh, our bagger uh, on our push lawnmower, and we dumped the bags of grass in here for the critters to get since the, the hill's so bare. But anyway, so that's uh, an update on my health. Uh, again, thank you all very much for the well wishes and the prayers. It really does help, and uh, and uh, uh, it's nice to start feeling better and not feel so, you know, run down and lethargic. So. Anywho, that's a health update. Um, the heat exchange. I like things simple, as simple as they can possibly be. Um, there's been some comments and some questions about can I run the return from the house. Uh, I probably could, but I'm not like a heaterologist or an air conditionerologist or uh, any of that kind of stuff. I'm just a regular old dude. I wouldn't know where to run it from, how to hook it all up right. And I know I could have some dudes come over and help me, but, you know, I don't want to be dependent on anybody. I want to be able to do it myself. If something goes wrong, I want to be able to know, you know, where the problem is and how to fix the problem, especially if it's 20 below zero. Um, so I probably could, but I'm not going to, <laughs> just for the sake of keeping it uh, as simple as possible. And, you know, the heat exchanger, the way that it's set up is as simple as it gets. Um, some folks had concerns about the smoke and carbon monoxide uh, coming into the house. Okay, so it's time to go to imagination land for a second here. The heat exchange is set up. You have a small box. Uh, we're gonna start with a small metal box that the fire goes into. The fire is inside your box and then out of that box 
is where you have your smokestack. Now the back of the, uh, okay, we're getting ahead of myself, all right? So you have hot box with smokestack going up. The, the, the box, the fire inside the box gets hot. That hot box radiates heat. So that's what we want. We want the heat that is radiating off of the box. So we build another box around that box. The second box is only around the sides. It's flush with the back. That way you have your, your smoke stack is still going outside the box. So if you do have any kind of gas leaks or smoke leaks, it's still outside of the second box. You're making it all flush this way. So that way if you do have a gas leak or a smoke leak, it doesn't get into the heat box, the air box that gets into the house. I hope that makes sense. I'm not really good at explaining stuff. And then on the front of the box, naturally you leave it open as well so that you can have, uh, you know, get into it to load the fire and easily clean and stuff like that. So essentially you're getting the heat that is radiating off of the sides and the top of the box. If you're using a barrel, then you want to make the top part of your air box uh, flush. That way your smokestack comes up out of the top of the barrel and it's uh, out of the top of the air box. If you have a leak, it still is outside and it doesn't get into the, the air box that goes inside your house. I hope that makes sense. Uh, if there's still any questions about how the concept works, let me know and I'll try to do a better job of explaining it. Uh, it's just, it's, uh, it, if you look at a blacktop road and on a summer day, you'll see the heat radiating off of that road. Hot air rises. It doesn't have a choice. It, hot air moves on its own. So just using, just using that basic principle that hot air moves on its own, that is where the hot air will rise up. And if I only give it that one section of ductwork to go into the house, then that is where it's going to go. It's going to follow the path of leaf resistance, and it has to go up through there and into the house. Uh, the fans, I'm not going to put any kind of fan on there. We use a, a ceiling fan and one small oscillating fan inside the house uh, to distribute the heat. I don't need any. I don't need any uh, uh, any other fan to push air into the house. I only use fans, uh, the, the ceiling fan, to push the air down, and an oscillating fan to circulate it throughout the house. Uh, our house is an open floor plan for about three fourths of the house, and uh, that heat exchange uh, keeps the the better part of the house warm. So uh, I've never, I've no have any experience. Uh, somebody has mentioned something about a, a fan that you set on top that the heat makes the fan go and it pushes the air. Uh, I, don't, I don't remember seeing one of those. I'm sure they exist. I don't know anything about them, uh, but I don't really want to have to purchase anything else that, that I, you know, if I don't have to, um, to accomplish something that's already being accomplished. Yeah, it, it can move the air faster and further into the house, but I don't want to have to buy another piece of gear uh, you know, to, to, to do that whenever I already have a little small oscillating fan and a ceiling fan that does the job for me. So, but I do appreciate all the ideas and thoughts because it's something that I may, you know, consider in the future. If my if my oscillating fan dies out on me, then I may consider getting one of those uh, one of those thermal fans. Um, I don't even know what they're called, where the, it uses only the power of the heat to generate the fan to push more heat out. So uh, there you have it. A uh, little bit more about the heat exchange. Uh, I hope that explains it a little bit better. Uh, if not, then I will try to uh, do a better job or find some heterologist dude somewhere who can explain it <laughs> better than I can. So if you're a heterologist, you know, by all means, chime in and uh, explain how this heat exchange uh, principle and concept is, please. So there you have it, guys. Uh, quick update on the health. Uh, quick uh, little talk about the heat exchange. We're going to be having some other things coming up. The greenhouse is on hold right now simply for lack of material. Uh, they we're getting to the time of year where I've got to get my wood pile in order and uh, start uh, getting firewood split. We got a couple of elders up and down the creek here that are going to need their firewood piles in order. So I may be a few days out of uh, out of pocket um, as far as responding to messages and comments. Please bear with me and be patient. Uh, sometimes it takes me three or four days to get to uh, respond to messages, whether they're on Facebook or on my YouTube channel. Uh, but I've got you know I've got things going on, cutting wood, splitting wood, and making sure everybody's going to have enough wood to get through the winter time. Uh, making sure that I've got a few extra cords of wood that I can sell so that we can get some cash to, to help pay the wintertime bills. Um, you know, we're going to be we're going to be butchering things here soon and I'm going to be tanning hides and uh, trying to make things out of hides. We got hunting season going on. We're trying to keep the freezer as full as we can. 
uh, whether it be deer season or dove season, we're going to, you know, groundhogs, we're shooting groundhogs, and we got fall turkey season. It's just a lot of, a lot of things going on right now in the fall time that uh, are going to keep us busy. So if you send me a, a message, a private message, uh, either on YouTube or on Facebook or whatever, email, uh, please bear with me because uh, I'm, I'm on the go quite a bit now. And it may take me several days before I uh, have a chance to sit down and respond to them. So, hope that helps. Uh, you guys, thank you very much from the bottom of my heart for hanging out with me and, and watching my videos. I really hope that they, uh, that they help and that they are entertaining and educational. And uh, so, yeah, that's my goal. It's just to, try to, uh, just to try to help make our world a little bit better place. So, anyway, guys, have a great day. Oh, God bless. The end. Buzz, buzz, the end.